Welcome back to another video of me, Silverstone 7, and today, my friends, we are playing on the road to 1.4, which is literally right around the corner, and hopefully, we can get ourselves in a two hard mode fairly soon, and we can also get ourselves all sorted and equipped for stuff, you know, because at the moment, um, we are still very much noobs. Now, since the last episode, uh, as you can see, I'm alone at the moment because Emma has decided to sit this one out. Uh, but since the last episode, I have actually done a spot of mining. Um, however, I did leave what I found behind uh, because I wanted to make it interesting to go back and get those things that I found in this video. But I'm going to go to places basically where I have left torches uh, around places where there's bunches of ores. Bunches? Is that even a word? I don't think that's a word. But yeah, there will be a bunch of different ore which we are hopefully going to be able to pick up and not die. Um, we also um, will be going trying to get some different materials as well because obviously I'm going to find the ones that I have been finding off camera uh, but also if we find anything that we haven't looked at yet then uh, yeah, we will definitely pick that up in DD. So yeah, first of all, uh, I want to go down here and it doesn't help where it's actually a blood moon at the moment. So everything's a little bit harder to defeat. Uh, and also we do have some mobs that are exclusive to blood, the blood moon, uh, which isn't the most amazing thing ever. But still, I mean, we're, we're here. We're going to get some good stuff. Um, I actually just took out a pink slime. Uh, I was going to record that, but however, I didn't because I decided it wasn't that amazing really and I didn't get anything for it. I only got this gel. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly run away because this ant lion guy is trying to kill me and I don't really fancy dying to this dude. So um, I actually wanted to mention this on my next episode. I hope by the end or the beginning of the next episode, I will have a fully functional uh, farm built in my spare time uh, where I will be able to get uh, these guys to just sort of die. And uh, yeah, what they're going to do, or what we're going to do, is try and farm for the mandible blade, uh, which is going to help us out when we try to take on uh, the Eater of Worlds. Because I hope uh, to try and rush into that and try and get into hard mode ASAP uh, by taking out the Eater of Worlds and then eventually going down to the Howl Biome uh, and actually taking out uh, the one and only Wall of Flesh. But first of all, I need to make sure I don't die to these guys. These worms are actually really annoying. Honestly, um, the amount of times I've died to them. Uh, I'm actually going to die again right here. This is annoying, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, I died. Seriously, I swear, every time I do a Let's Play on Terraria, I die almost immediately and uh, almost every episode. Um, but I don't know. Did I die in the last episode? I don't think I did. I think that might be a record for me. If I didn't die in the last episode, especially with it being a first episode of a series, then I am very surprised. However, I'm not sure if I did die or not um james in post editing might be able to include that uh, if i did die but hopefully uh, i didn't and all that good stuff but yeah anyways without any further ado let's just try and get down to where we have to go it, like i said it really doesn't help where we have these extra strong uh, enemies right now and i'm not fully equipped to be honest i'm still using wooden tools and all the basic stuff and that is mainly because obviously i left all the ores behind and you could probably be shouting at your screen right now but Super Fudge, why would you leave all those amazing ores behind when you could have done a simple upgrade which would have kept your life or you alive and would have made your life so much easier? Well, you know, my, my friends, I'm not that clever, you know, and I decided I wanted to show you, show you what I got, you know. I didn't want to just make it look like I just got a bunch of stuff and... That was the way it was. And oh my goodness, seriously, I keep dying. Right, I'm going to jump cut until I get to one of these ores. I've got to be really careful. Right, I need to go really fast. And we're actually going to drop down here. Because over here, uh, we actually have the biome that Emma found in the last episode. And that is the mushroom biome. Now, as you can see, I've explored quite a bit. I've not gotten too far down. Uh, but I have explored this area here. And there is a structure where there's a chest, which I haven't actually looked in. So it's going to be surprising to see what we actually get, which I can't wait. Um, also, we do have this area over here where there's quite a big deposit of different stuff. So we have silver here, uh, which is awesome. And then I think we have some iron around here somewhere. Uh, there's webs. 
and then obviously that gold chest down there. There is some stuff around here too. Uh, there's a massive deposit of amethyst there, which will be useful to make in staff. Uh, but without any further ado, let's actually get moving because I'm going to end up dying when I'm trying to, to get somewhere and show you something. So, oh no, really? Serious? Right, I'm, I'm going to teleport. I'm not dying again. That's not happening here. Oh my god, really? As you can see, um, I am here inside the mushroom biome. And as I said, there's this chest up here. And we're going to go ahead and have a look in it and see what we got. So we've got a hunter potion, a recall potion, and a magic mirror. Awesome. We needed a magic mirror because I keep using recall potions. And the problem with that is we're consuming them and therefore we're running out of them. So that is a really good upgrade. We also have nine iron bars. Very awesome. And we have some more... Lesser healing potions, not the best potions, obviously, but better than no potions at all. And I also made it so these guys can't get in. These guys are absolute pests. I have just taken, it's taken me uh, about six minutes, maybe more, uh, just to get here, literally, because they, they do so much damage, man. And it's mad. So I'm just going to keep attacking these guys and get them right down to no health. Because otherwise, if I try to get out of here to go and mine any ore... They are going to try and wreck my booty, so I'm going to make sure that they can't and they die. Um, also, I'm going to get the Fawn's Potion on me. Um, and I'm, I'm going to actually go down and I'm going to attack them. And this might be a terrible idea, but it's going to do damage to them as well. When they attack me, they'll do damage themselves, which will just kill them a little bit faster. And I know it will get my health down quite a bit, but... It'll also kill them a bit faster because I was going to be there literally for 99 times of using that wooden thing. So no thank you at all. Um, but what I am going to do is mine this first deposit of iron. As you can see there is iron right here which I'm going to go ahead and mine and make sure that we get some of that. So yeah I don't know what I want to do with the iron. I think I'm going to use it to make the anvil as I needed. And then I'm most probably going to make myself an upgraded bow. Because at the moment I'm using this wooden one and it's not too good. I think I might even look at upgrading my boomerang. Because obviously still only using a wooden boomerang. And I think that would really help out. Because at the moment where I keep dying. Um, obviously it's making it a little bit harder for me to actually get anything done. So as soon as I start upgrading my tools. Uh, I know it is going to make it much, much easier. Now, I do have a Feather Falling Potion, which I'm going to use because this is quite far uh, down to actually fall. And it will just make things a little bit easier. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and grab some of these mushrooms. Uh, there's a Shine Potion. See, it's sweet. That was awesome. So, that would be really good for lighting up. And, oh my goodness. Okay, so we're back and I am literally about to die. Oh my god, really. <laughs> Every time I come back... Something terrible happens. Right, I'm getting on this freaking minecart. Get me going. Get me going ASAP. Right, let me go back. And I'm going to ram myself into that freaking antlion. Where are you? Don't run away from me. Oh, yeah. Just proper bashed him then. <laughs> That's what I mean. This is what you get for killing me. Look, I just ran him right over. And I'm coming back. Don't you dare think about running away. Where are you? I'm coming back again. They're definitely around there somewhere. I bet they're there when I come back. Yeah. There we go. We just killed them and we got antlion. Um, what are they called? Antlion mandible. Yeah, that's cool. So very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Anyways, this is why I am actually in this area. Um, and it was not to throw my, my boomerang. It was to actually gather uh, this silver and this iron. Which is going to also be very, very handy. Now, I can't remember. We died, didn't we, back in the other biome. Back in the mushroom biome. So, I do need to still go back there. Because there is, like I showed you on the map, a big deposit of amethyst. Which will be useful for making some mage weapons. And seriously, do you really want to do this to me? I, well, he probably does. But, oh god. Right, I'm going. If I just go and then come back, they usually despawn anyway. So... I don't know, that one's not despawning actually. He is definitely sure he wants me. He definitely wants me right. I'm going to go this way and eventually he will despawn. So he's got to have despawned, I hope. And now if we go all the way back. No, he followed me! What? He's the weirdest following thing ever. What the hell? Don't be that guy, okay? Don't be that antlion that follows you to the end of the world and stuff. I mean, in some ways. He's more reliable than most of my friends, but at the same time, that thing wants to kill me, so I'm not really too sure if I'm 
supposed to be happy about that or not. Do you know what? I've decided I am going to wreck these guys. I've, I think I've got enough ore for what I want to do. So therefore, I'm just going to get myself what I need. I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to destroy those freaking ant lions. They are not going to do this to me again. Right, first of all, I need to get myself the silver ore, every little ore, and we are going to turn it into bars. Is there anything inside this chest? From what I can see, we only have throwing knives, but that's pretty useful. Uh, shurikens, oh my goodness, I have stuff that I could have been using against these guys. What am I doing? Why am I such a banana? There's even tin in here. Wait, did I even collect any tin? No, I haven't collected a single ounce of tin uh, other than those tin, tin bars, which are not that useful, so I don't need that. Oh, that would have been a good idea. Campfires. Why is James such a noob and doesn't even think to use a campfire? Um, because he is, and that's fact. There we go. Uh, a bouncy grenade does 65 throwing damage. Whoa. Whoa, that is mad. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some of them. Why not? And that's you. How do you even make them? I don't even check. I never checked how you make those. I guess you just need like two grenades and then some of that pink gel. Maybe it's the pink gel. Yeah, that's awesome. Right. I'm, I need to definitely make some more of those in the future. Um, but what we wanted to do for now is make these beautiful bars. So let's go ahead and make all of these bars. And there we go. We have got a total of 41 iron bars. Very, very nice. Uh, we have 19 silver bars. And we also have 10, and that's 19 platinum bars. It's very, very good. Right, well, we are going to absolutely upgrade ourselves and smack the crap out of those guys because they don't deserve to live anymore. Definitely not in this world anyway. So where is the anvil? Now, where is the anvil actually? That's a good question. Do I need raw iron to make an anvil? Have I completely forgot? Oh, it's right there. Literally, me with my plebble eyes could not see the anvil. Now I've got the anvil. Let's get crafting. So, how, like, where can I place it? Can I place it on top of here? No. Okay, I'm going to have to go out there. I didn't want to have to fight you guys. But look what you're going to do to me. This is what you've just made me do. This is what you've just made me do. Sorry, Carl. You're going to have to die, probably, because I need to take out these zombies. And this is going to be one death I am not going to, uh, to, to take, because I don't want to die anymore in this episode, if I can help it. So I'm sorry, Kyle. Like I said, I need to get outside. I need to advance. I need to get myself that anvil placed down and get myself some good stuff so you know hopefully you stay safe Kyle hopefully he does he does have a bow so he's pretty good and we just got a zombie banner 50th zombie nice well I'm gonna save you again there you go Kyle love you really and let's see what we can make right this is where we're gonna get very interesting because I actually want to make sure that I grab a bucket and you're probably thinking why are you gonna grab a bucket that's like insane well somebody out there is gonna know why I grabbed a bucket and the reason why is because I want to get a bucket of lava so I can set up a farm and start farming these ant lines for a better uh, a better sword essentially um, and this sword that I want to get has auto swing so that's gonna be amazing now also I'm gonna go ahead and craft myself a either a better pickaxe or a better pla uh, a better weapon but I think that it's kind of one of those moments where I need a better weapon so I'm gonna make myself the platinum bow and that's because bows are just amazing. If you haven't used bows in Terraria, honestly, on PC edition anyway, they are extremely, extremely satisfying. There's nothing more satisfying than a bow in Terraria, other than shooting a bow in Terraria. Then, that, yeah, that's the most satisfying thing going. But then I want to also make a sword. So a short sword is not one I'll make. I want to make just a normal sword. So I can't remember. A short sword's not too good. I think it's a broad sword I want. And that does 15 melee damage. Actually, do you know what? With that doing that, I might not even need to try and get the mandible blade. Because the mandible blade, looking on the forums. Um, actually, here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just quickly go back on Terraria just in case it stops recording Terraria. So basically, looking on the forums, the Mandible cl uh, Blade does 14 melee damage, which is actually one underneath this. Um, however, like I did mention, that did have auto swing, so maybe it's still worth getting, and I might just farm for it for the fact of getting it, so yeah, I'll probably do that anyway. Um, and it will just give me something to do. But the Strong Platinum Broadsword, which gives us 4% critical strike chance, is a very nice weapon nonetheless. But, um, yeah, it doesn't seem to look like you can upgrade your boomerang. Now, I thought 
thought that you could actually upgrade boomerangs. I thought that you were able to get... Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, if I am wrong, definitely tell me, but... It doesn't appear to look like you can actually upgrade a boomerang into a better one. So maybe I'm wrong about that. But if you can, please make sure to tell me down in the comments below how you do that. Because I am actually not too sure how you do. So first of all, I want to make some arrows. Because as you can see, I have not got enough arrows to, to, to kill these guys. So I need some wood. And is there any more wood? There is not. I literally only have two pieces of wood. Well, as you can see, I am extremely rich. Not. Um, but yeah, so I've got myself two pieces of wood. I can make like nothing. Yeah, literally, I can't make nothing. So let's just grab some torches as well because I'm going to make some flaming arrows. And to make flaming arrows, you need to make normal arrows, then combine torches with um, with the normal arrows. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead uh, and just cut down this tree. And let's go ahead and do that. Nice. And as you can see, we are getting loads of wood. Loads of wood. Honestly, it's insane the amount of wood we're getting. And I don't want to like miss out on that tree. I don't want it to fix itself. And honestly, these slimes are so annoying. But look at that. Wow, that platinum um, pit like sword just did loads of damage. Um, that's insane. Right. Do you know what? Thinking about it, I'm going to upgrade a piece of my armor as well. Because I can do that. I wasn't going to do it because I wanted to do it when I had a, uh, or I was able to craft a full set of iron armor. Uh, but at the moment, honestly, it doesn't matter because all this armor that I currently have does is it just gives you a set bonus of one extra uh, de uh, defense. So as you can see, it gives me four defense at the moment in, ho uh, in total. So if I go ahead and make a piece of the iron armor I would actually be able to get hopefully a bit more defense so I'm not sure which one gives you the most defense which part uh, it seems like the iron chainmail so I will take that uh, and put that on me and I now have five it's not loads it's just one extra defense but you know I'm not gonna moan it's pretty good so silver pickaxe I'm gonna improve my pickaxe just for the sake of improving it but I don't know if I want my pickaxe or my silver axe I think I'm gonna do my axe just because I need it to uh, mine up the the trees which will be useful um, do I have anything left for a pickaxe uh, no I don't but it doesn't really matter like I said because the main thing is really just trees and weapons so we are good we are sorted for weapons I'm gonna go ahead and jump cut here I'm gonna go back down there and I'm gonna see if we can murder these guys this episode's completely changed I was going down there just to get items uh, and get ore and stuff but now I'm going down there to get revenge I actually almost forgot I'm going to need something pretty important, and that is actually arrows. I completely forgot that's why I cut the wood down. So let's go ahead and grab all those. And oh no, right, okie doke, okie doke, get away from me. Can you see the power of my bow right there doing all that damage? Whoa, okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here because these guys are still fairly strong, even if we do have that little bit more defense. And as you can see, wow, this bow is making a world of a difference though. Because they're actually getting like losing health now, rather than before, where I was literally just sort of uh, picking at them. I was kind of like picking at them in some ways. Um, so yeah, I want to make some more arrows, but I'm getting caught by all these freaking slimes. Do you know what? Any other time I come down here, the only things that spawn are ant lions. This one occasion, they all decided to freaking spawn. Right? Do you know what? I'm going home. I'm not. I'm not having that. They're not having another death. No, 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 no. No, they are not. So right, I'm gonna go. And quickly make myself the arrows I need. So, what have I done? I've teleported back home again. Yay! I'm doing Terraria just how it was intended. So, let's go ahead and grab all of those beautiful arrows. 900. Whoa, that's insane. That is a, that is a huge number. So, now we have 590 flaming arrows. And we can go ahead and use these. And that is going to just kill. That is what we wanted. So, um, once again, I'm going to jump cut. And we should be ready to take on these guys. Okay. I want to use one of these bouncy grenades and see how much damage it actually does. Because at the moment, you know, I'm getting kind of fed up with the amount of deaths that, that I have lost today. Whoa! Did you see that? He didn't even exist after that. That was mad. Right, well, we still need to avoid these guys because, believe it or not, they actually are just as dangerous as they were before. But... Uh, we do have the means to fight them now and really oh my goodness. I'm gonna die again, aren't I? 
Ah, uh, how am I still dying? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. We did manage to make some upgrades today. We've got an iron chain mail, which gave us a little bit more defense. We've got ourselves the axe, which is going to allow us to mine a little faster with the wood. Uh, we're also going to be able to get, um, like more wood because of where it's going to be more efficient uh, we have the strong platinum broadsword which is going to help us with damaging the enemy we also have platinum uh, the platinum bow which is going to help us with taking out enemies from a range uh, i think it would be a very good idea to invest in jester arrows now i do actually have um, the stars to do it so i think in the next episode uh, when you next see me i will have a bunch of jester arrows uh, or i might wait in, until i craft those i'm not really too sure it depends how much i need them i am definitely within from this episode to the next episode going to have got to how and when i get there i will be creating a elevator so i won't be doing that on the video because i don't want to spend too much time uh like mining and, and doing that sort of stuff because it's not too fun uh to mine and mine and mine so yeah anyways thank you so much guys for watching this video hopefully you did enjoy make sure to like comment and subscribe if you are new that would be most appreciated anyways guys i've been super sure seven you've been absolutely awesome and i will catch you guys all in an another video very very soon thanks so much for watching guys good bye